is going on coastal worldwide guys welcome home we are 130 miles offshore at the biggest rig in the gulf of mexico Appomattox right behind us here. We've got an awesome crew out here today. We're back on Chris Gomez's boat. He's actually holding the camera right now. Thanks, Chris. Ryan with JYG Jigs and Justin, his good friend. So we are about to get these lines out. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Zero wind and we've got zero bait on the boat right now. No live bait. We might do some chunking later on tonight, but the goal of this trip is going to be artificial fishing. So we've got some new gear on the boat. Blaine's got an exciting stuff to show you guys. So we'll explain it all along the way. Let's get fishing. You. This is my new tuna stick baiting and popping combo. This is the Yamaga Blanks Blue Sniper 818 Blackie. It's a lure weight of 45 to 120 grams. I'm super excited to get this thing on a tuna today. I'm throwing that Nomad Design Riptide right there. It's got great action in the water, and hopefully we can bow her up on a big old tuna. Let's get it. The sun is just setting. We did not spend very much time at Appomattox, about 30 minutes or so. We didn't mark any good tuna. And like I've told you guys before, if you're not marking good fish and you're not seeing the stuff you like, give it a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and then move on. So we did 13 miles further out to the Gulf of Mexico to a drill ship here, Globe Trotter. If uh, you guys do not follow the night flight on Instagram, that's where this cat is right here. So we're following some reports that he gave us. So we are gonna slide up here, see what we're marking, see if we can find any tuna, good marks, and uh, probably set in for the night for just a little bit. We got one boat here fishing for Marlin, so we are gonna check it out and see what we're seeing. You. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Get him! Get him! Get out there, Blaine! Him, Straight. Him, set the hook. Oh, Blaine! Get there! Get there! Get there! Get there! Get there! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Careful up top! Oh my gosh! Little baby one right here! Right here, Blaine! Right here! Right here! Right here! Ryan, get up here! Justin. Yes! Yes! Yes, Blaine! Yeah, Blaine! Yes! Yes, Blaine! Yeah, Blaine! Get him, baby! <laughs> come around, come around Let's if you can. Go. Come around if you can. Watch that bow thing. There it is, baby. Where they at? There it is, baby. Right over here. Right over here. Right over here. Get on. Oh, piss. I just pulled. That's all right. Get back out there. Get back out there. Let's go, boys. There are tuna blowing up. Oh, that was crazy. That was a good fish. He was hauling too, dude. Come on, Rye. I think the drag was a little tight. A little tight? Yeah. Way out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Straight at, uh, straight to. Uh, yes, Blaine. Yes, Blaine. Get him, baby. Doesn't seem like a huge one. That's black fin. Ooh. Ooh. Little run for your money. First fish on the Yamaga Blue Sniper. Let's go, baby. Let me see what that rod has in it. Woo! Oh! I'm gonna step up front and see if I can get that shot. Look at that monk front busting. Ah, look at that monk front. All right, here, look out. Look at him. He's a good fish. I don't think he's, I don't think he's over 60. We're gonna leave Blaine for a second with his battle. See if I can't get you guys a front row shot. I can't be too far. Shooting between two butts right here. Oh, yes, I yes, I saw it, I saw it. There it is, Ryan, check him. Got him, got him, got him, Just break his neck. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. He pull? No, he's there, he's there, he's there. Good, just get a just get a backhand, left hand cast there. Let's go ahead and triple up. Woo! It's a solid fish. That's a solid fish, Ryan. Good shot, Chris. Let's go, baby. Over and in the boat. Let me 
Let me see that thing Let's kicking out of the mouth. Oh, on the papa! Oh, is the display thing? That's all right, just hit him in the head. There it is, boys. There it is, boys. There it is, boys. All right, Chris, you're on wheel. Hey, let's get a double on the back of the boat. Yep, he could look at that little cookie cutter. Should I come to the front? I broke in my Yamaha blank, 81.8. I kicked this fish's butt. I think he kicked mine a little bit more. Uh, throwing that Nomad Riptide, it worked like a dream. Obviously, it paid off, so. Be careful with your finger, yeah, you know, we'll get. 85F, Ripple Fisher. And this guy ate the uh, Ebby Pop, FCL Ebby Pop. Man, let's go get some more. Let's get some more, baby. Let's get him bled. Let's go again. Keep your rod tip down. Go up and over, Justin. Watch out with the camera. Oh. Oh. There it is. There it is. There it is. Go up and over him. Get to him. Justin's on. Justin's on. Justin's on. Come on, baby. Seems like a heavy fish. Come on, Chris. All right, Justin, how we feel, man? Good. Justin's had a little bit of a run of bad luck. He's pulled the hook on a couple, and now he's stuck to a pretty heavy fish. They're still blowing up up here. All right, I'm coming. You can move my rod back if you need. I don't have a hand free for you, unfortunately. I'm going to go off, up and around his left side. Off here, this line. Hold on just a second, Ryan. He's going to go up and around here so we don't get pulled back into the ship. We've got Angler right here by the boat driver. We've got Capitan on the gaff. We've got potential yellow fin number three on the hook right here. Action. There you go, that's all right, that's all right. He's going up underneath the boat, stick that rod tip down, there you go. Blaine, you just keep your heading where it is because he's just doing bid circles out and around us yeah. here. That's all you can really do. Come on, where you at, Tooney? Watch that rod, there you go. If he feels like he's hitting gun, I'll go underneath the arm and freaking whip him out. Try to get his head up out. There we go, good work. Good work, good work. Get him in a boat! Woo! Heck yeah, boys! Woo. Let's go, baby! All right, up and out. We'll make sure Ryan's in a good spot. All right. Okay. Ryan, what do we got for a popper here? We got the old, the old cast popper on him. No live bait. No live bait. No What'd you say, Ryan? No bait needed. <laughs> no way. That's yellow fin number three in the boat. We got Mr. The Night Flight up there. Too easy, baby. Big assist, baby, thank you. We got the Night Flight on Instagram up there with the assist, with the report. He said the tuners are here, we came and got him. Oh, there. Justin. There we go. Little butterball yellow fin, man. Let's go, let's go. We spent the rest of the night throwing poppers and stick baits for the next 30 minutes or so we did see some yellowfin busting but we could not get a connect chris gomez the boat owner really threw his heart out on that chug norris popper there really wanted the, him to get an artificial yellowfin tuna the last time we were out at appomattox in his boat he did get about 120 pound tuna on live bait but like we've talked about this trip this mission was no live bait needed getting after some artificial yellowfin tuna and um, after that 30 minute period of seeing some yellowfin busted and not connecting they dove they left we slid back to appomattox to see if the tuna were there and there were tuna there just not the yellowfin variety a lot of blackfin all over the place um, we did some jigging for blackfin chris got a bunch used the ikijimi on them got them bled and got them prepped up to be some good food for when we got back Chris jigged his heart out all night, got about 10, or our limit of blackfin there. And then 
for sunrise we had a different game plan so we packed up the boat started to slide into a very special spot to hit the sunrise bite hand cranking sea bass it's morning time baby it's morning time baby whoa big kicks from chris no really. oh Maybe snowy. A little snowy grouper. Oh yeah. Sea bass. Sea bass. Woo! He almost. Sea bass. them. Yo, I gotta go check out these Jig Pro jigs. Go check out Ryan's Instagram page for a little more information on these things. These things are absolute killers. They're gonna get you on y'all's fish. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There it is, Ryan. Ryan's got him stuck, baby. What's that sea bass? <laughs> All right, Chris is on too, man. Yeah. Little triple up in the boat. I think Blaine's gonna be the first one on the surface. Now he's a pipe. I'll talk about it. Little sea bass. Yeah, a few kind of heavy? Yeah, I think I snagged a sea bass. A snagged in a sea bass. <laughs> what it is, Ryan. Yeah. Look at that guy. Yeah, Whoa. baby. Snowy. That's. Well, I mean, not a big snowy, but you know, that's a nice snowy. Hey, the last one you just brought up. That's, that's look at that. Good, that's an upgrade right there. Yeah. Woo! Eating good tonight. Yeah, no doubt. Got some meat in the boat. Check that thing out right there, man. Chris. That's a nice fish Chris with a tank. That's kind of a tank bass right there. Ryan, lay a whole bunch of, you know, we have to fillet all those. Let me borrow your spot real quick. You know, we have to fillet all those things. I'm borrowing your spot. We're catching that. Got something real this time? Ooh, he might be. Just snag him. Probably just snagged him. <laughs> All right, one of the last drops of the day. And I have got something that's at least bowing this slow pitch rod up a little bit more. Pit stop for meat has been pretty good after tuna fishing last night. Not a bad sight either. Yeah, I think I just got one foul hooked because he feels kind of heavy, but it's kind of squirrely. They're just kind of small and you're just cranking forever. Oh! Hold up! Are you Hold up! Yellow edge! Yellow edge! Uh oh. Ryan. Woo! Ryan, no. He can have it though. All right. Okay, take that and eat that. One of the last drops of the day right there, baby. Yellow edge grouper of no size whatsoever. On the deep. On the JYG deep. Very exciting stuff. Man, he wasn't going nowhere. No, no, uh, when I when I felt the bite, I was like, all right, there's the ones in the mouth, and then I'll just whip the jig around real quick. Oh, yeah. And put them in the tail, so just, I mean, it's not like an experience thing. <laughs> ah! Gotta love it out here. Gotta love it. The sun's poking through the clouds. Not a bad day, a little breezy. Let's go for another no overnighter, boys. Back at the house now, what an amazing trip it was offshore. A uh, very unique one as far as tuna fishing goes, yeah. um, but it just goes to show how tuna fishing can be. If you guys have not seen the first ever video we posted on this channel, you can go see what a lights out tuna trip at the same exact 
rig looks like mm -hmm. for giant tuna, tuna everywhere. This trip, we had to bob and weave, follow some reports, yeah. had 45 minutes to maximize any yellowfin, no giants around, and what we would consider a giant is 80 to 100 pound plus tuna. Mm -hmm. um, those were very nice tuna, got a lot of meat out of those things. Yeah. Blaine and I have already got to enjoy some of that yellowfin ourselves, but um, like I said, 45 minutes to maximize the only yellowfin we saw the entire trip, and then we slid back to Appomattox, found all the blackfin your heart could ever desire. Yeah. Shout out to Chris there because Chris, man, two, three in the morning was just <laughs> loading up the black. Grinding out some uh, some blackfin tuna there. Really, really funny. And then uh, obviously you saw at the end of the video, we slid out uh, or slid back in to about 650 foot, did some yeah. manual slow pitch jigging. Chris did some manual cranking for some dead bait for grouper. Oh, yeah. And we got some meat in the box. So just uh, all around exciting, fun yeah. trip to film for you guys. I gotta apologize a little bit because the yellowfin tuna shots in the beginning were good, but they weren't up to par. Um, we have all the equipment we could ever need. It comes down to user error a little bit. Uh, the colors weren't quite right on the camera, and so I didn't get you guys the front row seat. I hoped you had, but I did hope. I do hope you enjoyed the the kind of tuna action we got because we yeah. tried to get as much film as possible. I didn't even get to throw for very much, um, but Blaine did get to get his yellowfin tuna, my uh, friend. I did get to break in my new rod. And that, was, that was a super sick moment for me. I, I've been doing tons of research on rods and stuff and went with that one and it it paid off that rod is a dream oh dude the distance you got was unreal yeah very crazy reaching fish from a very far distance which is cool so i'm gonna be probably ordering one very soon so if you guys are interested in a custom black hole um, jigging rod or a custom black hole eight foot graphite popping rod they're for sale so just shoot us a message or something yeah. but um like like we've said before the boat right behind us we want to get this thing out we want to get it back out to the tuna grounds soon. and uh possibly soon. at some point this year run that thing all the way out to appomattox 130 miles offshore take the 22 foot sea pro yeah. we'll have a buddy boat system so if you guys want to see that video 22 foot boat 130 miles offshore definitely let us know in the comments because it's probably going to happen at some point but we're excited to get back out of the sword grounds we're going to get and do some slow pitch jigging do a little bit better video mm -hmm. of that stuff for you guys um, and then obviously our shark fishing grind and our travel grind is on so yeah. some exciting videos coming up very soon so stay tuned for it we'll leave you guys with it you